Hey what's up YouTubers this is SP Jackie back again today with another Clash Royale video and today's motto will be on the Dark Prince which is available on Arena 7. So you guys can see I got this Dark Prince from a uh, shop on the Epic Sunday and here we are. This is our troop strategy. Right? This is a very Dark Prince and Hogwire combo which, you, which is very pretty awesome if you are using it well. So you can use the Musketer in case of Dark Prince, but yes, Dark Prince is one of the great units. So today we will be focused only on the only on the Dark Prince. So let's check from the place after this, and we will come to know how the deck works. So right now we are facing WoW C 233, and you guys can come on check it out because Dark Prince is so awesome. It, it actually deals splash damage. It actually deals uh, heavy splash damage, and also has a shield in front of him. So we can say Dark Prince is one of the great units to actually go with. As but my Dark Prince is only level one. Hope I get the level cards from magical chest i got a magical chest but i got some free spells out of there so it is one of the great combos uh, using dark prince prince strategy we can call it a double prince combo or you can use the hog wider and the dark prince combo one of the great strategies also because the uh, dark prince may focus on the small units and the hog wider can move on to the tower and can take out very huge damage so if you are using dark prince keep it in mind that you use you should use it with some or some troops you should not let, let him go alone as it's a very Mainly a high, not a high power unit because he's easily being distracted as well as he's easily been taken out. So it is very necessary to uh, counter the dark, so sorry, not counter, it is very necessary to take your dark prince with some or some troops. So wizard may be one of the good things or you can go with a double prince combo, maybe you can go with the dark prince and the hog rider. In this strategy I just tried everything from going from double prince combo as well as a uh, uh, prince and uh, dark dark prince and uh, hog rider as well as the wizard and the dark prince now you can see at this push i'm going to go with the dark prince and the hog rider and he's trying to defend this with the cannon the cannon and the new update balance it update has came before came guys and the update says that the cannon hit point has been decreased and tesla has been increased so it is sure sure that the people are going to use teslas and teslas are very good unit i love teslas but yes personally i also love cannons because cannon can easily destroy hog rider small units as well as troops like balloon and uh, mainly giants which can deal high damage hit point to any town to any defense unit which is coming offensive unit is coming towards your tower so right now i'm pushing with the boat lane so this is where, where i make that attack i may uh, think twice because one or one else if you fire one thing then one tower is in danger so right now this hog rider did a great amount of damage one more thing to say about the dark prince is the dark prince has very limited amount of health so keep in mind that don't let him alone i'm saying this thing every time because if you let dark prince gonna do that amount of damage as compared to the uh so as compared if you send dark prince with some or some tool right now it's going to take my tower out as this uh, legendary wizard is so dangerous because they can slow out the unit so well that uh, just i have seen people giants going like a uh, uh like seeing in a slow motion video ice wizard is so dangerous you can say ice wizard is one of the great units yeah great legendary card i must say because it's doing a great amount of damage if you're not controlling it well and yes ice wizard i didn't got any legendary guys still now but okay we are focusing on this or oh, now you can see i'm going with a prince and a dark prince combo so you can see we can do a great amount of damage but he tries to counter with the hover oh, sorry ice wizard and ice wizard has done his work and he's doing to get a critical damage to my tower with a zap spell right now his tower is at no help because one hog rider is even to take him out so you guys can see it's very easy to counter with the dark uh, ice wizard if you are knowing how to counter it because ice wizard is one of the good you need in clash royale and you can check it out guys this ice wizard is focused on that hog rider but yes the tower has no health and it will surely go down so let's move on to the next replay so right now you can see we have two crown on him on to the next replay we'll face a level 8 player of name something don't know what's his name he's going to use all giant now this deck is so awesome that you can even counter the all giant because you have the barbarian small units as well as the minion uh sorry wizard to take this uh, cannon sorry to take all giant distract you right now i'm pushing back with the print the uh, wizard onto the right and barbarian to take advantage to take a care of wall jam but this wall jam had to deal a great amount of damage as he was pushed back with the wizard and the wizard can do a splash damage guys so dangerous if you are not countering well you guys can see he's doing a great amount of damage to that tower but uh, slow, solely doing that a great amount of damage so right now i'm ready for my elixir to get filled and he has the try three musketeers i even has used three musketeers many times but yes this strategy works if you are 
actually facing not at all a good player but yes if you are facing a technical player keep in mind that you shouldn't go with the great strategy right now you guys can see i push with the hog and the dark prince as i said they both can do a heavy damage towards the tower and you can see the consequences it's so dangerous if you are moving ahead and they can take towers very easily right now this wall jan can basically counter with the minion and he just made a mistake over here placing the arrows literally away from my minions so right now this minion said and they cannot take a um, few hit points from the tower so right now we are in our head uh, we are in front considering the damage we have did to his right tower so patiently waiting for our elixir to fill and we are again going to push back with a wizard wizard so dangerous if i have no fireball if they have fireball they are a waste of time a waste of two elixir because they did splash damage but they are easily counter with the fireball so right now i'm pushing with the Prince and the wizard combo and the hog wider so that they can actually move on to the tower and take them out very easily. So you guys can see this tower is going to go down and there we are. The tower is down. And we are pushing back to the middle tower and this tower is also getting a serious amount of health. You guys can see it's almost down but it's trying to distract with the three musket. My dark priest is going to do a great amount of damage. He's going with the three musket. I gave him a merciless laugh. Come on. Using Twitch uh, Musket, I faced it many a time, hundred times, and I defeated players with this. And this wizard and the barbarians are going to take this Aljan out. And this push would be enough to take this tower out, as this type of tower is not at all in a good health. And this wizard is distracted towards that uh, hog rider, and the uh, tower is going to go down. There we are. So, hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you are new here. Subscribe to my channel for more Clash Royale and Clash of Clan videos. Thanks for watching to this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. This is Epic Life Clashers. Gonna make much more Clash Royale and Clash of Clan videos. Thank you for watching.